Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel G5 Biology. This is Saroj and today I'm going to talk about DNA sequence or sequence of a gene. As a whole we'll be talking about like different gene sequence, transcriptome sequence or mRNA sequence and this series is mainly focused on DNA sequences. Therefore in this series what we'll do is first we'll identify a software where we can work on sequences and we'll identify a free software. Therefore in this video we'll be talking about snapgene viewer you can download snapgene viewer online and inst install it in your computer so that you can work on different sequences let's go ahead and download and install snapgene viewer then we'll talk about the dna sequences from ncbi so i have opened the google browser for downloading snapgene viewer just type snapgene here and it will show uh, the website for snapgene and don't get confused with the snapgene and snapgene viewer so snapgene is a paid software that you have to pay for downloading and installing it however you can try it for free for one or two weeks so if you want the free version then you scroll down on to the bottom and in the product section you will see snapgene viewer so snapgene viewer is a free software you just click it and if you want to download, you have to give, provide the email address here and download it. And let's see the difference between Snapgene Viewer and Snapgene. So Snapgene is paid software. It has all the features listed here. However, if you are going to download Snapgene Viewer, it is free and it has a limited feature. So we can view the plasmid map and sequence. We can annotate the feature to our plasmid and we can share the sequence with our friends and colleagues. However, if you want more like sequence editing and alignment, cloning, PCR and mutagenesis, like enzyme set, annotations, and automatically creating the graphical history, then we might need Snapgene. However, for this demonstration purpose, we just need Snapgene Viewer. So let's go ahead and download Snapgene Viewer. So let's provide the email address here and download. So I'm working on Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac version. So if you are working on Ubuntu or Windows, you can download the similar version. So let's download it. <laughs> so it is 60.7 megabase and after it is downloaded, I'm going to install it. So the download is complete and I'm going to install it. Let's click the, the downloaded version. Now it is opening and verifying so it might take few minutes okay. so download is complete so i'm going to pull this one in uh, my application folder okay now i can see the snapgene viewer right here so now i can go to my launch pad and see if i have a snapgene viewer so i have my snapgene viewer right here so let's click and open the snapgene viewer so remember, this is a free version that you can use and it has limited use. So if you want like annotations, cloning and enzyme stuff, then you might need to get Snapgene, which is a paid version and you have to pay certain amount for it. I think it is like 700 to $1,000. So, so what we can do is after opening the Snapgene viewer, you can make a new DNA file or make a new protein file or open the existing file or you can import from any other software. So let's close this one and we can make a new DNA file. So if you want to make a make new DNA file, then we might need some sequence. So let's go to NCBI and download any of the sequence it has. So NCBI. So I'll just get some gene, gap DH. So this gene is mainly used as an internal control in qPCR and gene expression analysis. Let's download any of the gene we have. So what you can do is you can just copy the gene sequence. Let's see where it goes. Okay, it is from human. So let's get one of the gene bank sequence it has. And if you want to copy, then you can copy the fast for version of the sequence so that it will be easier for us to, oh my God, it's so long. So let's copy any of the sequence here. 
and we can paste it in the new file so you can name it as a dna file and give the name so i'll do gap ds as you human so this 2700 base pair nucleotide is going to be created and it is a linear version you can make it circular or you can make it single stranded so i'll just leave it double stranded and linear so that it will be easier for us to work on so now this is the dna sequence we have so if you want to see, this is the map view if you want to see we have like sequence view you can see all the sequence right here and we can design the primers and we can look for different enzymes that we can use for cutting this one and if there are any feature you can see it here however this is a faster version so we don't see any feature so if you want to see any feature of a gene then you have to download the gene bank version from ncbi and if we have any primer or anything we can see it here so this might be in a like paid version so in the next lecture we'll be focusing on a specific gene then we'll download the gene from the ncbi and design the primer so that we can amplify and sequence the gene thank you so much for watching this video and if you like my content please subscribe to my channel and comment and like my content thank you so much and i'll see you in next video